where am I? Easy. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? I'm feeling like you just popped out of nowhere. Oh, good. Hell of a hangover, eh? Hold on, you shot me. No, I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Who's the fox over there? Hi, Foxy. Anyway, why save me? Ow. My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer, but I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way, and it prevented your death. Now, here's a question. In all of me pfeffing around at the entrance there, how did you manage to not shoot Mercer instead? Should have just taken a shot. I promise you. The thought crossed my mind. The poison on that arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Why? Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus' murder. Alright. <coughs> Good. And how are you going to prove that now? Given that he's wherever he squirreled himself off to? Skeevered, maybe? My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. Okay, so what's it say? I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Oh, great. And I'm not going to be any help with that. So... Maybe we could get it translated? I don't know how we'd do that. Enther. Gallus' friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. It's the only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. College of Winterhold. Alright. So that's the second time. Maybe third. Fourth? I don't know, my head's still sort of spinning a little bit. What's a nightingale? Besides, apparently the thing that Gallus used to call you. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. Do I look like the type to use poisons to you? It's sort of hard to deliver that kind of a thing with a hammer. Right. Blah. You're not coming with me to Winterhold? I'm afraid not. There are preparations to make, and Gallus's remains to lay to rest. I promise to join you there as soon as I can. Okay. And why didn't you kill Mercer? Mercer lied to the Guild, branded me a murderer, and slandered my name across his network of contacts. For twenty-five years I ran, never sleeping in the same place twice and carefully covering my tracks. Mercer doesn't need to die. He needs to feel the cold sting of fate as his life crumbles in front of him and he's hunted by the Guild. <laughs> well, you might not have a choice next time. I might just do it myself. I can promise you if it comes to that, and my back's to the wall, I won't hesitate. Alright, good. I'm glad we're on the same page here. So what's Gallus' whole deal besides the fact that he was the previous guild person in charge? Ugh. You expect me to deal with college people with my brain like this? It's gonna be fun. He was a scholar. 
A master thief and a natural leader. Everyone respected him and followed him without question. It was Gallus who inducted me into the Nightingales, and honed my skills to a razor-sharp point. I owe everything to him. We were... very close. Oh! You were in love. Gallus once said he felt comfortable around me, able to let his guard down. I can't help but think that I'm responsible for what happened to him. Oh, don't think like that. It's never anyone's fault. Besides circumstance. Anyway. Oh, that's nice. Right, I should get going. Remember, speak only to Enther. Trust no one else. Heh. <laughs> Can I trust my crew? I've got a ship. I'm sure they're fine. God. He got me good, didn't he? Thanks for patching me up. But that's going to be a while healing. Oh. Right. Sorry about your horse. I hear dogs. And wind. It is bloody cold. Okay, jacket. And stuff. That's a little better. My gloves. Okay. Here's my fingers where it freeze. Should invest in a hood or something. Okay. What am I hearing? Anyway, come on and help me out here. How are how close are we to Winter hold. Do I want to try to sail there? You know what? I think I do. My ship's just down there and I don't want to leave her. Especially given I told my crew, specifically William, that I was going to be back before the morning. And if I wasn't, the ship would be his. So I'm going to go make sure that the ship is not, in fact, his. Good luck. Try not to be too dramatic and uh, mopey. Yeah, let me not burn myself. Uh, right. A wise man once told me that gaping chest wounds are nature's way of telling you to slow down. <laughs> I should probably heed the gaping chest wound, eh? Ah. Yeah, it's something that I'm not sure I will ever understand. The idea of apprentices falling in love with their masters. Oh god, that's cold. I'm pretty sure that I could never, ever ever, even if you paid me, fall in love with my blacksmithing master back in Anvil. <laughs> Excuse me. Oi! You with the knife, what you doing? Alright, hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Are you kidding me? There are two ways we can do this. Alright. First of all, I'm going to ask if you don't recognise a fellow guild member. Which, I don't blame you. I'm not wearing the uniform. Uh, of course. I've seen you at the flagon. My mistake. Good luck out there. Ah, you too. You were thinking about stealing my ship, were you? Better not. Of course, the question now is how I'm going to be able to get back up onto it. That's fine. Uh, right. That's not my idea of a good time. Okay.
Right. Where? Okay, that's fine. Hey, William! I'm back. We're moving the ship. Up to window hold. Gold. Assuming we can get out past all this ice and not end up like whoever sailed that into that. This is not good weather to be sailing. Oh dear. Right. Well. We'll do our best. Hey. That'll do. Close enough. It's about what we can do without uh, getting caught up in all of that ice. Right. Make sure I know where we are. Okay. Around the side of that thing. How oh, high? Oh, don't think about it, you. I'm going to go up the other way. Hey, at least it's sunny and warm out, eh? Goes. How big is the college, I wonder? Well, that, that big. Right. And where am I supposed to find an Enfir? I'm gonna go ask at the inn first, I think. Because I don't want to, uh... Oh. We might have some weather coming in. Oh, aye. Alright. I don't want to go try my luck with people who are by far and away smarter than I am well what happened here not like it would take much I consider myself quite clever I do not consider myself quite book smart Where else could I even go in this God's forsaken town? And what? You think that'll solve all your problems? Probably not, but it's worth a try. Alright. Well, this is really a bleak place, isn't it? Got good chicken, so. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. I'm sorry, could you describe the smell? Like some horrible monster was turned inside out and then exploded. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. I've already corrected it for future experiments. This. This is why people have a problem with your college, Nelikar. Okay. So that's... your Nelikar? You sort of look like an Enfer. Is that your name? Yes, yes. What is it? Uh, you may or may not actually believe me. Is Excuse everything me. Well, oh yes, quite fine. My accommodations here continue there to you be are. just what mm -hmm. I need. And there haven't been any problems. Are you referring to your other customers? No, everything is quite all right. I expect a bit of animosity now and then. I see. Well, let me know if things get out of hand. The mages don't let us go in the college. They said it's not safe in there. Well, they're probably right. Okay, now that I've got you not in range of interruptions... Can I help you with anything else? Well... You probably won't... Gods, believe me, but... 
I've been sent by Carlia. Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? Uh, yes, but we've got a bit of a problem. A problem? Let me see it. Ah, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. Did you say Falmer? Okay, so we're in... That's great. Can you translate it? No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. A word of warning. Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Markarth, of course. Great. Sorry, I'm a little sore. You might have noticed the giant stab wound in my chest. Anyway, I've got some questions. Namely, why did he scribe his journal in Falmer, of all things? Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Right. And where do you acquire the knowledge to use it? Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. All right. Well, I can work with that. What exactly is a farmer? I've heard the stories, but... In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. Oh, gosh, this is going to be a history lecture, isn't it? No, okay, I'm, on a, I'm in a bit of a rush. Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. I will. Thanks for your help, Enfia. Ah, guess it must be drying wood. Something. Okay. Now. I'm really glad I took the boat then. Because Markov is on the other side of the continent from here. <laughs> you know, much as I have, as much as I have to complain about, about Sem, Sanguine, God, I can't believe that happened. Anyway, much as I have to complain about with Sanguine, he did show me where Markov is. Sort of. So. With any luck, I'll be able to just sail back out there in bad weather. <laughs> we'll have to be careful. And or oh, we'll sail out to sail out gold. We'll sail out to solitude. Easy for me to say. Right, and then I'll take a cart to Markov because I really don't want to have to deal with. I'm pretty sure. Let me just look. I'm pretty sure there's actually no way to get a canoe up to Markov. Too many falls. And besides, I could use the rest. Ah. That is... One nasty scar. Alright. Oh, it's going to be a nasty scar. For the moment, it's just a real nasty gash. Oh, right, look. It's that Shrine of Azura. Now, I have now seen it. Actually, I'm pretty sure I saw it before. But, 
There she is. Where are we going? Solitude! Suppose I could go to Lost Port as well, but... Nah. And we're here. Either up and away we'll go away, Cataraya. Either up and away we'll go along the reefs of Valinor. Either up and away we'll go away, Cataraya. Either up and away we'll go along the reefs of Valinor. Hi. She's a tough clipper ship and a bonny good crew away, Cataraya. An old salty old for a captain to along the reefs of Valinor. Heaver up and away we'll go away, Cataraya. Heaver up and away we'll go along the reefs of Valinor. I take care of the horses and the goats and the chickens ugh, and the garden. Along the reefs of Valinor. Ah, <laughs> I haven't sung that one in a while. I think I'm a little rusty around the pipes. Or maybe it's just the seawater. Something. Anyway. Hello, sir. Excuse me. Need a ride? Yeah. Where do you want to go? Well... If you've got stopper there, I'd like to go to Markov. Climb and back and we'll be off. All right. You've got some coal strike there, sir. Nice weather for a ride. Hope it lasts. Aye. All right. Here we are again. Traveling in the reach is dangerous. You need a good carriage. It certainly is. How are the new breeds getting along with my dogs? I haven't attacked each other yet. Good a sign as any. All right. Where did he say Cal Summer was? I'm going to take a wild guess. I could smell metal in half the time as your weak will pink skin. Do I have to do everything? No, I'll work harder. Am I going to take a wild guess? I'm going to assume that he's underground somewhere because if he's studying Dwemer and Farmer and whatnot, probably not up wherever that is because that's the Temple of Debilla somewhere up there. Oh, God. Some kind of bird. Let's see if he's in here. Fancy. What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial lies. First you take away Talos. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored hmm. dead? You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thongor. We're done. Good. You know... I can't really... Wow. Alright. I can't fault the, uh, the passion of the Nords. However, I think a couple of them take it a little bit too far, eh? Filthy natives. Get to work. We have meals to prepare and no time to prepare them. What the... Right away, sir. Right. Always another big meal to cook. Uh, excuse me, sir. Work, what are you doing work. here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. 
Uh, I was looking for you, actually. I told you I'm not hiring any more guards. Why do you people always bother me when I'm trying to finish my research? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work, and I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? It happens. I hear you're the authority on ancient Falmer. Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Falmer Tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. Excellent. Perhaps I could view your work? Preposterous. That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. You know... I can't really fault you for that. What if I... What if I tell you that I'm here on behalf of someone who's a great admirer of your work? While I appreciate the sentiment, I still have to decline. Being an admirer, I'm sure you can appreciate the need to keep my research a secret. Uh, fair enough. What if I sponsor you? Sponsor a dig or whatever it is that archaeologists do? I'm not certain how many scholars you're accustomed to dealing with. But I can assure you that personal wealth is our lowest priority. You know, to be fair, I haven't really met that many scholars, so eh, maybe I'll come back later. Very well. Perhaps when my research is complete, I'll feel more comfortable discussing my findings with you. Right. Oh, sorry. What have we got here? Doors, volume one. And just a key lying around. Wonder what it goes to. Probably whatever that is. All right. That's nice of all. Okay. So I know a couple of things are going to have to happen. I need to figure out where the museum is. Probably. I also need to not alert the guards to the fact that I'm doing this. Hello, what's this back here? A nice little spot to hide out is what it is. Right, well I plan. Uh hmm. Oh, do I have any? Hey Carlyle, did you give me anything invisible making? The answer is no. I've got a filter of light feet and that's about it. Which frankly could probably come in handy considering I'm not exactly the stealthiest dog. Well, it's Becker's turn. That'll work. Hello, sir. I definitely belong here. That's... I'm not sure where... So, that's an active excavation site, I think. Just gonna keep looking around. I. I definitely belong here. Halt! The Dwemer Museum isn't open to anyone without the court wizard's permission. Ah, so I found it. Right. The Dwemer Museum. It means Dwarven Museum. 
Lost race of people that built this city. You want to know more? Ask Calcimo. He's usually in front of the ruins, just down the tunnel. Right. I mean, I knew that. Okay. Interesting. Oh, this is where it is then, right? Anyway. You're here to see the Yarl. No sudden moves. Understand? Understood. All right then. You know. I've got the key. I probably could just walk in. And then do my best to be an actual thief about things. Okay, how long does that last? Not that long. Great, okay. I'm gonna keep that handy. What a waste. There must be a dozen men up there. Yeah. Calcelmo called in his entire expedition team. Said he needed every man he could get to protect his research. Better them than us. We lost three good men to the traps up there. And for what? Just to see another damn sp- The clanking around? Well, at least this post is safe enough. Come on, let's get back to work. By order of the Yarl, stop right there. Uh, well, this is going to end badly, isn't it? So be it. Okay, so apparently I can just convince them that I'm. Hi. Okay. Damn Stormcloak rebels. Every one of them. Getting distracted by that. Okay, so far so good. All this standing around is rubbish. We should be taking the fight to the storm cloaks. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Goats. Aside from that one bested. Come on. Are you serious? There. Not gonna say anything. Cause the minute I do, I'll jinx myself. Luckily it's sort of 
dark in here. Are you serious? You heard me, Captain. Our work must not be disturbed. Kill any intruders on sight. Call for backup if you need it. But let no one through. As you say, sir. Right. That was always hoping. Is someone there? No, oh, no. Is someone there? <laughs> Intruder, help! Well, give up while you that? still can. I'll kill you if I have to. Uh. 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 didn't go as cleanly as I expected. However, I probably only need one set of keys. Did she actually alert anybody? Huh? You know what? Back up! I need some help in here! Intruder! Help! <sighs> you need to do better than that! <laughs> That's all you got! <laughs> Yeah. Where are you? Really? Expecting that. Give up while you still can. You two are pretty tough, aren't you? You're gonna die for that. You won't oh, get the no, best but I me. might die for that one. Okay. I need some of that. And a little bit of that. None of this helps. Well, that might. Time to finish this! Yeah. Ah. 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 I submit. Come on. Mercy. Get the best of me. How much? You're nothing. Come on. It's nothing. Okay. What is this? No! <laughs> All right. That would have made my job significantly easier. Ouch. I'm down to not many potions. Okay. Which means we're going to be a little bit smarter about the rest of this, but I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I've lured them all out at this point. What was that? Oh, hi. What do you think this is? Another trap, most likely. These are dangerous. Three of the guards <laughs> died when the lower hall flooded with steam last week. Huh? Help! In here! Huh? Oh, nice. Not impressed! 
All right. You're gonna die for that. Where are the controls for that one? I wonder. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Now you'll pay. New plan. Run, hide. Oh well. I don't plan on being killed by the likes of you. Well, sorry. Die, you orc filth. Over here, hurry. Damn you, everyone. No, this can't be happening. Never should have come here. Whoever knows, you're dead. You hear me? Dead. All right. <laughs> Well, someone got out. It's probably going to go warn more guards. Hello. I gotta work quick. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, okay. Work quick, work quick, but smart. Quick, but smart. Oh, hello. I bet that's what we're looking for. How do we get up there? Oh, I see. Okay, 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 what can we do? We can do that. And that. Uh... I don't care about that. What else can we do? Ah! We can do this. Oh, come on. Okay, yep, I'm rushing, I'm rushing. Steady hands, that look. Steady on. Alright, I can use that. And also that, probably. Thank you. Actually, I bet I could sell that too. Our lovely fence. Okay, right. Uh... What's all that? Oh. Paper stuck on the wall. Okay, that gives me an idea. Hold up, do I still have the journal with me? Alice's journal. Okay, I don't need to even... That's... that's Fulmer, that's Dwemer. Let's get, uh... Let's get rubbing, shall we? Right. Accidents like this don't just happen. Someone is trying to sabotage my uncle's research. I... Alright. If there is a thief, he won't leave this tower alive. Is someone there? But shouldn't we inform Master Kalselma? Oh, hello. Okay. Nope. Not that way. Not that way. Come on. We've got to get out of here, and we've got to get out of here fast. So, uh, I, uh. Come on. It's got to be a way. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Alright. Oh, God. I was going to say, don't hit the rocks on the way down, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Just walk out of the city like we meant to be here and aren't doing anything suspicious. Not suspicious at all. Good. I am a little bit jumpy. Jumpy, but I lived. <sighs> All right. Hey there. Sorry about the late hour, but uh. Traveling in the reach is dangerous. You need a good carriage. Exactly. I'd like to hire yours. Where do you want to go? Solitude, my good man. Climbing back, and we'll be off. Smell you later, Markov. You ever met one of them cats? 